friends and welcome back to my channel minimum player count today we are taking a look at tea scones and arsenic this is a game that is coming to kickstarter so without further ado let's get started Okay, so in Tea, Scones, and Arsenic, what you are doing, everyone is gonna get their own little player board with this beautiful artwork that tells you who you are and you have your tea right there. Everyone also gets three sugar cubes that you will be using during this game. Now, all of these scones are gonna be placed in the middle of the play area with the arsenic side face down. On your turn, you're gonna be collecting scones, looking at the back of them and placing them into your tea area. That signifies that you have eaten that scone. Now, if you have selected a scone that has arsenic on there, and now I do wanna tell you arsenic comes in one, twos, and threes. So if you see a scone with arsenic on the back, you can say, I'm going to eat this and place it into your area. Or you can say, I'm not going to eat this. You can place it back and put a sugar cube into your tea. Now, as you only have three of these, you only have three opportunities to decline scones. So after that, you have to take any scone that you have picked up. While you're playing this, the game ends depending on the amount of players that you have. So the amount of players you have signifies how much arsenic you can actually handle ingesting before you die. In a two player game, the lethal dose is 15. In a three player game, the lethal dose is 10. In a four player game, the lethal dose is eight. In a five player game, the lethal dose is seven. And in a six player game, the lethal dose is six. So this is a game that depends on the amount of players that you have. Now at any time during the game, you can say, I'm done eating scones, and then begins the two honor rounds. What honor rounds means is that every other player is forced to take two more scones by those two rounds. So every round you pick a scone up and you will decide to eat it or not, if you have that sugar cube. And if for some reason you die during that honor round, you are out of the game. If you live after that honor round, you can then say after those rounds are done that you are done and force other players to do again two more honor rounds. The game ends when either everyone is dead or they're done eating. The person who wins is a person who has collected the most scones without dying from arsenic or nobody wins and everybody is dead and you are now ghosts. Of course, when you do die, you flip this board over and you will have this rest in peace. And obviously your tea is now turned blue from that arsenic that you have ingested because you have died. Very sad. <laughs> now, there are uh, rules variant in this prototype copy that I have received. The rules variant is these little spoons. So the little spoons is, it allows everybody to grab a little spoon and during your turn, you can use this only once. You can force a player who has decided to ingest that cookie or keep it in their area to place it back into the play area so other players can get it. So it will hopefully be a bad draw for them on the next turn and maybe they'll die from arsenic overdose. What I liked about this game is it is very fun and actually ingenious. I played this at the maximum player count and we all really enjoyed it. Like we were surprised by how much we enjoyed it because it's very simple yet it actually involves like thinking, it involves push your luck, social deduction, and it is really just a great time. I really enjoyed the artwork on here. Also, even the little spoons, they have this kind of like vintage feel to them. And all the scones are very cool. I like how you have the ones that don't have anything and the arsenic that shows, you know, two on one side. We were playing one of my uh, opponents. They didn't find any scones with no arsenic on them. They're like, do they even exist? Like, yes, they do. And I have them all. <laughs> 
I was bluffing. I didn't have them all. I died pretty soon after. It is a very quick social deduction game that takes around 20 minutes, depending on the amount of players you have. And it really, like I said, it is a great time. I really did enjoy this. And I really want to thank them for sending me this game to play in review for you because um, I like to really promote games that may be a little bit smaller that not a lot of people might know about. And this is one of them that I'm like, yes, try it out, especially if you do group games. And sometimes you might need a little bit of a, a buffer game in between something that's a little bit quicker, lighter, that makes you laugh type of thing. This is definitely fills that brief. So again, try it out, check out the Kickstarter. I will be linking that Kickstarter down below in the description for you. Also, if you want to support my channel, I do have a Patreon that will also be down in the description below, but please like subscribe, comment, let me know what you think about this game or this video. I love hearing from you all and I will see you all next time.